how's it going guys? Uh, another cold night tonight. Um, this is a short 7779X build video. This is kind of like a little add-on build video, kind of like, let me add this before we continue. Um, right in front of me here, I have a 1-200 scale um, Boeing 777-200 freighter, okay? That doesn't matter. The fact that it's a 777 is important, and I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you in this video how it's very important to have scale models of the plane you're working on to help you when you're sanding different parts of the airplane, whether it's the nose section, tail section, nose section, tail section, engine to cells, looking at the overall shape of an airplane. Um, right here I have a 737 um, MAX series, right here, model of that. So th this is a very important thing. This is a great tool, and let me show you, let's, let's get a little bit more into what I'm talking about here and how it's going to help you in your build. Okay, before I start cutting and then sanding this 777-9X tail section, what I want to do is I want to use this 200's tail section to compare with the plane that I'm building in relations to sanding. Now, this is a Skymarks um, 200 scale um, Boeing 777-200 freighter, FedEx, um, 200F, and it's not a 9X. Currently, there is no 9X that you can buy as a model. Now, I have a guy in, in Malaysia who builds uh, wooden uh, one-offs for me, and he gets them. I, I probably get a plane from him every month of concept airliners, concept bombers, fighter jets. Uh, he can make anything I need. He's me, but in a scale form. I used to do that a long time ago, but now I just have time to make the uh, airliners. So, but I used to actually mail make um, display planes, but I stopped doing that a long time ago. But I mean, I'll, I'll do it every once in a while. If somebody asks me or pays me, I'll, I'll do it. But um, this comes in handy. This really can come in handy because the 9X has the same uh, nose section, same nose section. Uh, the 9X has the same nose section, basically. Same fuselage, uh, pretty much the same wing belly. Uh, in many ways, a uh, very similar wing, except the um, 9X and 8X have, has kind of a, a wider wing cord and a longer wing. And of course, the fold-up uh, wing tips. The tail section's a little bit different. The elevator's a little bit different, on a little bit longer on the 9X. But uh, the tail is very similar. And the great thing about um, the British version, Wooster and Skymarks, is you can take, you can actually disassemble, we can disassemble the actual uh, model. We can take it apart, like so, and disassemble it ever so slightly. See? And we have the tail section, and we can compare it when I'm actually sanding and shaping. I can compare it to the model. I can compare it when I'm sanding and shaping. I can look at that and compare it. And that's very, I mean, it comes in really handy. Um, Skymarks makes great 1200 scale models, and Wooster in the UK makes them. And then right here, I have a, uh, I have a 737. Max series. This is a Max 8. Comes in really handy. What I'm building is the smaller Max 7, which is right now almost ready to maiden. Uh, Boeing is almost uh, done building the prototype of the Max 7. So you got the winglets. You got the uh, got you got the engine nacelles with the chevrons. <laughs> got that right. I'm not gonna t not gonna call them teeth anymore. But that's just I like to give things nicknames. So this comes in really handy. I use this. I use this extensively on the sanding and shaping of my uh, 
my 737 Max. And the funny thing is, um, one of my good buddies on uh, here on YouTube, um, Angel Redding in the United Kingdom. Hello there, good sir, Mr. Redding. And he's, bu he's building a marvelous, beautiful um, de Havilland Heron, all out of balsa. I mean, it's just, oh my God, it's beautiful. Beautiful airplane. He's doing some good work. But he mentioned an airplane, the Avro York. He mentioned the Avro York, and I have one. I, I also have the, uh, I have the uh, Lancastrian as well. This is a Corgi. This is a BOAC Avro York. It has the wings and Merlin engines of the Lancaster, tail section of the Lancaster, except it's got the third, third tail in there beefier uh, fuselage basically but Angel Redding me me uh, mentioned this plane and I have one and I have the Lancaster I have the Lincoln I have the Halifax I have um, my god I have the Manchester I have uh, <laughs> I got I got the, I even have the um, the Hampstead I have the Bombay, I've got them all. I've got, I, I literally have every single model. No, I have almost every fighter jet, bomber, airliner known to man that's ever been built in model form. I really do. Let me show you one of my small collections I have in my office. All filled in these bins are all different sized uh, scale aircraft, little models, things like that. So that way, if I need to, I can pull out a bin and basically have whatever I need inside and uh, basically each one of these has, you know, 20, 30 little models inside. And I have, this is one-tenth of my bin collection. So that way, basically, if a customer says, I want A, B, or C, I can walk in the, this office closet or my um, storage space closet, you know, my storage space garage, and I can pull out whatever I need. So basically, uh, to end this video, this, this quick little, little um, add-on video to the uh, 779X build, if you, when you're sanding and shaping your RC airplane, fighter jet, bomber, it's good to have a model, an actual scale model of the plane you're working on or something close to it. Um, actually, I have a model of the 9X being built in Malaysia right now, being made out of wood by an, a marvelous um, scale wood maker, uh, model maker, and he's building a 1200 scale 9X for me. But this 200 uh, freighter will have to do. And it's, it's perfect, it's fine. Uh, the shapes and um, designs of the 9X are not that much different from the standard 200 and 300 of the 777 series. But all of these models, and the close to 1,000 I have, come in incredibly handy when I scratch build an airplane, spaceship, fighter jet, whatever. These come in incredibly handy. Um, go on eBay, go on Amazon, um, go on to different, different sites all over the place and you'll find these scale models and I'm telling you, they're an invaluable aid to help me scratch build and uh, they're relatively inexpensive. This cost about shipped, $25 shipped. This 200 scale um, Skymarks 777-200 uh, freighter, it's about like 25 bucks shipped. Uh, this. 8 series, uh, this Max 8 737 was maybe 20 bucks. This Corgi, oh man, this is, I bought this a while back. I can't tell you how much this cost. This was like a collector series of Corgi, it came in a big blue box. So those of you, my British Corgi collectors, you might remember how much, uh, this is like 50, 60 bucks US. I know that the Lancastrian was pretty expensive. But uh, again, when I choose someday to build the Avro York, I got one. I got a model right here, a scale model of it, and I can use this to help me build. These are invaluable. 
these really are invaluable to any build. And I'm going to use this 777 until I get my big, you know, until I get my wooden hand carved uh, 9X in from Malaysia. I'm going to use this, and it's fine. When I when I sand the nose section, I'll be looking at that, and that's going to help me as a sanding guide. These are invaluable. Big tip, what I'm giving you. Big, I'm giving you a big nugget of gold. Trust me, buy yourself scale models and use them in your build to help you with sanding and shaping. You can't lose. This is Demon Driver. Stay warm. Uh, get warm, because I'm freezing my ass off. I got to get some warmth, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass out. My my mouth is malfunctioning here. But uh, God bless, guys, and let's keep building.